Yes. Uh, me yes. just saying I'm a single mom to you doesn't come like I'm a single mom who single-handedly takes care of the children. And a lot of times, again, just to add to that is even when they know there's no one, mm. you are the toxic one. Yes. So what did you do? Mm. Why Why did this guy... What did you Uli do? What, what did this guy... Jesus Christ. I'm so guilty of... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I'm so that? guilty of so much. <laughs> like, <laughs> Whenever a woman tells me, like, oh, the father of my kid's not involved, I immediately go to... Yeah, this must be a toxic Why are you baby? keeping that man away from his children? Yeah. Why? Exactly. Why? Exactly. Why? Ah, yeah. Karibuni once again. This is the Crib Sheet Podcast. Please say the and crib and then sheet podcast. Uh, <laughs> my name is Chim. Cheers, guys. I was looking at the time. I'm sorry. My name is Chim. I'm Carol. <laughs> Sheila. Yeah, and today we're going to be discussing single parent or co-parenting discrimination because sometimes what you'll find is when you're a single mother especially, there are certain statements that are made or institutions that will treat you, you know, it's exactly. like side eye. Yeah. So I want to start with you, Sheila. But before we get into all that, I want you to tell us how you're doing. I'm good. To be very honest, but I'm very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good. Yes. I remember the last conversation we had, you were saying January does not apply to you. Oh, it doesn't. She does not it relate. Doesn't. So, to be very honest, I am, I am very good. I have good goals for nice. the year. Yeah. I have bigger plans for myself and my children as a parent, as a friend. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm good. So, guys, And they are who you. That's what it's it's always great. <laughs> How about you, Carol? Yeah. No, I'm also good. Um, now that Sheila has said she wants to be a better friend, mm. last year, one of my goals was uh, to do 100 days of no drinking. This chick! <laughs> Are you supporting me this year? In Mwaka Nia Chai, at least for the first 100 days. But I've ever done more than 100. No. It's you who always flops. Okay, so, so are, you, are you supporting me this sure, year? Let me know okay, when okay. it starts. It starts. It has started. Already? Yeah. That's what I'm telling you. Oh, you haven't taken alcohol? I haven't. Oh, well, I, I am the devil. Okay, so I have. It's starting tomorrow. <laughs> you know when it starts. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I love to see the friendship yeah. unfolding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, otherwise I've been good. The year has started off well. I've been on leave. Um, yeah, so. You got leave in January? I got leave in January, yes. I've been on leave for... Is this you or your boyfriend? Uh, <laughs> hey, but people don't come back to work until... <laughs> until. Even the ones uh, who are in work, uh, at work right now, well, just... Yes. On an inning. Like yeah, January so... I brought my guys back to work on the 2nd uh, of January. Jim, you cannot be that person. On, on the 9th? Yeah, oh and then God. you see that this is when people go on holiday. Last year in January, same time. It's also this time around, kids are open school very early. Mm, I was on holiday. So you won't notice. Yeah. Yeah? So, yeah. <laughs> That's Speaking me. of the kids being on holiday, how are, you, how, are you, how are your children, your son? My son is good. Um, back to school, started a new school. I was so worried, but he's excited about it. So that's mm -hmm. a good thing. Um, <clears throat> you know, sometimes I look at him going to school in the morning and he's so excited. He's looking forward. He wakes up so early. I'm like, Kwani, what, what are you guys being taught? Because during our time, mm. oh, it was fights upon fights. But he's really enjoying and I'm glad he is. And he's fine. Growing up so fast. Nice. When are you giving yeah. him a sibling? <sighs> <laughs> Who wants to give my son a sibling, guys? And he gave comments. And he gave comments. comments. Sir, <laughs> and he gave comments. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, how are your children? Gosh, gosh they're fine. You just move on. <laughs> how are you and how are your kids? Um, my children are really, really happy. I always say this. It has it's 90% to do with the uh, Siju. Um, in my profound wisdom, I chose a woman who's a very good mother. They are happy. They're excited to be going to school. I know my son yeah. Kadari has really been bored out of his mind. Mm -hmm. He's finally happy to show us. He had mastered the multiplication table by the time he was like three or four. Whoa. But now he's loving showing us that he can do more and more. Yeah. And I love to see it. I really love to see it. Um, as for my daughter, she's showing me she knows big words, Alaska. How was your day? Fantabulous. Fantabulous. Oh, that's 
so sweet. Yeah. Um, everyone is good. The missus is good. Uh, I mean, I'm good. I'm always good. I'm blessed. Amen. Yeah. It's blessings all around. Yeah, you guys are blessed because by my presence. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Moving on before we pollute that <laughs> blessing any further. Yeah? Today, as I said earlier, we are discussing discrimination. And I wanted to ask, have you guys ever encountered discrimination based off of the fact that you're single mothers? So, um, so for me, so obviously there's been the words, what people say, but I remember in particular a time I went to interview, to, get, to do an interview at an agency. Mm. Um... And I didn't get the job, mm. which is, I mean, whatever. I mean, we do so many interviews and sometimes yeah. you don't get the job. Mm. Uh, but I had a friend of mine who was there in that. I mean, in agency, I feel like we have friends in so many agencies. Mm. So a friend of mine who was there came and told me um, <clears throat> one of the reasons, probably, he thinks that one of the reasons why I didn't get the job uh, was because I was a single mom. So, you know, those interviews where um, someone will ask you after the interview, so you've done everything. And then now they ask you, okay, so tell this is off the life, records. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's off the records, but t- tell us, do you have a child? How old is a child? Blah, blah, blah. And it made sense because I remember thinking it's agency. Anyway, he came and told me the reason why could be because you're mm-hmm. a single mom. And apparently single moms tend not to be very, very focused at work because mm. Mara or CJ don't have a help mm. or CJ the child is sick or oh, CJ yeah. what, yeah. And, and so initially I remember sitting there and saying, okay, it makes sense. I mean, agency, agency can really be tough. It's very time consuming. It's very involving. It can be tough. Mm. So it kind of made sense. But I remember thinking, hmm, so it's actually a thing. You can actually be discriminated or, or maybe just don't get something just mm. because of, you know, where you are. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I don't know about you. I think the first time I, uh, the producer told me that we're having this discussion, I even asked him, what exactly do you mean discrimination? Because I I think, you know, it's not like racism that you can see Mm. it, you can touch it, you can feel it. Um, I think the discrimination is Zuko down low, you know, because someone, I think people probably discriminated me. That's what I thought. People discriminated me and I didn't, maybe I didn't, I didn't know that I was discriminated mm. based on that decision that they've actually done or made uh, for themselves. Um, and at times I feel, and this is something I always tell myself, it's a privilege to be in my life. It's a privilege for me to work for you. You know, as in take a, take a risk um, on anyone, you know, as yeah. in you need to know them for who, who they are. But then again, I just thought about their friends have actually just stopped becoming friends. And I'm just asking myself now. Why? Because I'm a single mom. Mm. But I choose to, you know, as in just assume and move on. Mm. Because by the end of the day, Mimi, by the way. You, it is have, what it is. I am who I am. <laughs> but yeah. at the same time, I just know with me as a friend, as as a, as a workmate, it's, I'm someone you 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 can take a chance on mm. and all shall be so i don't really feel that but from my friends now coming to li- um when we're discussing this topic and i was like by the way the churches do that mm. um at times i think even the rest some of the restaurants do that the schools do that Probably. when you're mm. enrolling your kids schools, as well yes yes, yes. um like in different, even workplaces, when you're doing your interview, mm. they also check on that. But have they ever come and asked, why are you seeing Exactly. What's yeah. The, what's your story? I know. Mm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's, I, I don't think I've, maybe I have, someone did that, mm. but I didn't feel it or probably I just didn't care. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But I like what you've said about um, a lot of times it's, you can't feel it, you can't see it. Yes. You have to be very, very discerning for exactly. you to know. Oh, oh, snap, that, this is yeah, the reason. Is the re- yeah. yeah, but yeah. obviously, there are those people, like you're saying, institutions, schools, and churches mm. that are they very clear. Say, They're not yeah. hiding, like, by Let the way. Let me ask you guys. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's different, it's a different experience between men and women? For example, with mm. myself being uh, reforming useless single uh, <laughs> co-parent mm-hmm. to finally becoming more and more involved, would my mm-hmm. experience be different from yours? Or let's say a single father's from a single But mother. I wonder, you tell us, have you faced mm-hmm. discrimination? I Honestly, I can't really say I have. Mm-hmm. That's not to say men don't. I'm mm-hmm. just saying when I think about it, what I do know is 
it's almost the opposite when mm. people find out oh you have a child yes mm. are you involved in the child in the children's lives yeah. like yes tick tick mm. you're getting mm. it's oh you have children yeah are you and the, their mother on good terms yes tick yeah yeah oh so you have children so it's almost like you another one that i've seen a lot of is you have mm. children so you're responsible mm. Yeah. Actually, you're right. Yeah. I think for you guys, a lot of times, and like you're saying, maybe maybe there are people who've experienced, but like you're saying, mm. I feel like everywhere, even at work and everywhere else, when when someone tells you that they have kids, mm. um, and they're involved in their lives, it's a tick tick. Mm. It's a tick tick. Mm. Um, because I know, I mean, I've I've gone out. You know the way um, I've been on dates with men, and when mm. I tell them I have a child. Someone who has a child will be very quick to tell me I also have a child because mm. they feel like it's a point. Mm. You know when I when you tell me that you have uh, you know a child or children and you're involved, it feels yeah. like. And then there's um, you know they also want to keep showing us that yes I hang out with them on this day. Mm. I'm doing this. I feel like it's a plus mm. uh, because even the men who are married mm-hmm. at work, if you see a man, to be honest, I feel if I see. Uh, if we see men who are picking their kids from school, for instance, yeah. mm. it's a plus. And I keep wondering, it is your bloody responsibility. No, it makes a lot of sense why the teachers, whenever I get involved, because I'm not involved like every day in picking the kids, mm. the school bus, but on, you know, occasions like sports day, yeah, yeah, uh, cultural yeah, day, mm. uh, on their birthdays, I'll take the cake and we'll do something with the mm-hmm. mom, yeah? And I've noticed the teachers, their eyes almost always light up mm. when they realize, oh, so this is your father. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I find some of them are actually very chatty. I have some phone numbers on my phone mm. for some of the teachers. At first, I took them down just thinking, I swear to God, I swear to yeah. God, I took them down just thinking, I right, cool, we'll talk about the child. Mm. And then I started noticing, oh, so it's, it's not just it's, about yeah, the child. Yeah, uh, exactly. Okay. But also, how many times do, okay, good example, going through Carol's uh, Instagram and going through Chim's Instagram. If I go through Carol's and I see her photo with a with a son, mm. I say she's a single mom, mm. right? Yeah. I never start off saying, "Oh, that's the nephew." No, mm. it's a exactly. Mm. But if I go through <laughs> chins and I'm um, seeing children and all that, I'm like, "Oh, probably those are the nephews and nieces." Mm. Get. Also, number two, how many times do we come out and say, "I'm a single dad"? in workspaces when you just randomly meet you they only say that mm-hmm. once you introduce yourself as a single mom mm, then so they offer the information thing, I'm yeah. a single dad so right? i have a mm. hack for men um that i just realized last year and i realized this from talking to siju when you're negotiating for something be it a salary increase be it a contract that you want and someone's trying to lowball you always find a way to finesse the fact that you are a father well, a single or married, it's been nice the fact that you're a father. Mm. Why? Because when someone tries to lowball you, you're like, yo, I don't think we understand each other. I have responsibilities. Mm. I have to take care of my kids. I can't do that if you give me this. That is always, it always gives you a leg up. But does it always. work for us? Does or do it? we look? I don't know because I feel like for us, okay, well, so, there's the other person who's that. Someone. Yeah, exactly. But, but there's a man. There's always an assumption that there is someone else. Actually, that's I mean, very true because I not... also usually make that assumption. Yeah. Whenever a woman tells me I have children, mm. I don't automatically go to single mother. I go yeah. to there's someone else. The you don't need this as much because I'm sure the other exactly. partner is. Exactly. Yeah. And I also feel there are a couple of people who still live in that, um, the gray area where they feel. When I say I'm a single mom, okay, you're a single mom, but definitely there's a man somewhere care mm. of you know yes uh, me yes. just saying i'm a single mom to you doesn't come like i'm a single mom who single-handedly takes care of the children and a lot of times again just to add to that is even when they know there's no one mm. you are the toxic one yes so what did you do mm. why why did this guy what did you only do? What, what did this guy? Jesus hey. Christ. I'm so guilty of... Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I'm so that? guilty of so much. Like, <laughs> Whenever a woman tells me, like, oh, the father of my kid's not involved, I immediately go to... This must be a toxic Why are you babe? keeping that man away from his children? Yeah. Why? Exactly. Why? Exactly. There's, there's, I think this Christmas, because I had so much time, I decided to ask all, uh, some of my friends, what's that thing that comes to mind when you hear of a single mom? Mm. A good number mm. actually responded, and some were like, 
no, I know you'll take it uh, differently. I'm like, why do you yeah. think so? Unless you don't have anything. I'm, I'm not looking for the positive, right? Oh, wait, I'm just you looking for your that. sentiments. Yes. And before guys responded, they had to... Give a disclaimer. Put out disclaimers <laughs> of feelers. To sort yes, of see I mean, what exactly do you well, mean? Are you talking about single... Huh? Yeah, you're intimidating. Okay, like, I, my so homies then? usually tell me, like, yo, <laughs> yo. So, <laughs> by the whole that <laughs> So, I kept on asking him, what do you mean, as in you're a man, I'm asking you about a single mom, what's that thing that comes to mind, right? And he went around, I was like, you know what? Just, just leave serious. it here. Yeah. Because I'm just thinking, I, I don't want you to answer as a friend. I just want your honest opinion. Because one, he's a, he's a married man, so mm-hmm. I, I felt... You would, you know. Mm. So one thing I came to realize, as much as we're talking about uh, single mothers, mm. and we're even talking about discrimination, I feel it starts from our friends that we call our friends. And I'm not mm. even talking about this friend of mine, but I'm just thinking, does it start with our friends that we see? Because even our, our very close fa- um, family members, I remember we had a meeting and... Um, one of our, one of our, um, our cousin gave birth and I remember she said in a group with everyone, I know Sheila is laughing at me wherever she is. <gasps> <laughs> now you can unpack whatever you want. No, I kid you so not. I thought that was, it wasn't discrimination, but I, I'm just asking myself, where was this? Was coming? it necessary? Uh, was yeah. it necessary? Was it the right space for you to share that opinion about me just because you had a child before you got married? Maybe. You know, that's the first thing mm. that comes to mind. Maybe it's yeah. projection based off of what she had yeah. been saying about you. And at the back of her mind, it's almost like we, we all need to feel like justice was served, yeah. even when we get away with something. Mm. Right? True. It's part of the reason why we are charitable as human beings. Be- I don't believe in altruism. We feel like we have done so much <laughs> yeah. dirt mm. in our mm. past. Maybe I need to up, yeah. balance yeah, out yeah. karma. So maybe in her mind she felt she needed to put that out there so that she, like, if I punish myself, maybe karma won't punish mm. me. That's why she said that. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So let me ask you guys, have you ever interacted with an institution, be it a church or a school or, I don't know, what are, what other institutions would discriminate against uh, single mothers, single fathers? So apart from, um, I haven't interacted directly, but I've mm. had someone telling me, uh, we're just having a conversation with someone about baptism mm. um, and my son is not baptized, so it's something I need to plan for. Um, so I was just having a conversation about baptism, and he told me that um, he also kind of struggled to get baptized when he was young, mm. just because the mom was a single mom. And I was like, wait, what? What did you... D- That's a church. Mm. So my question is, isn't this the church that should be loving you? But no, 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 no. And thank you're, God you're, you're here. <laughs> You also, know, right? And thank God you're here. <laughs> even before we get to the angle of love, you need to mm-hmm. also figure out that churches will dissuade women from getting terminations. Abortions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? Exactly. So you'll tell the woman do not end this pregnancy. But yeah. But once she decides to keep the child and the child comes of age, you're like, we are not going to baptize mm. this child. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Which I found very weird because it's like, wait. Wait, what? <laughs> Like, I'm still trying to wrap my head. I really struggled with that concept. But I was like, okay, so now, so what am I supposed to do? So I want to be baptized. So what am I supposed to do? You, you know? just die and go to hell. But no, but seriously, <laughs> I don't have these struggles because you guys yeah. don't know this, but I started going to church last year. And one of the most intriguing things was, so, I mean, I am very heavily tattooed, so it's very easy to notice me. And on this particular day, I went to church. They were like, yo, everyone who is single, please stand. And I remember telling my wife, the lady to my, what's this, the left, mm-hmm. was like nudging me like, yo, stand, Oh, stand, you, look, stand, you should stand. be single. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. And even when it came up in conversation uh, uh, later, when I was talking to the member of the church who had invited me, and I was like, even if I was single, like, yo, I have a child. What, what am I doing standing? Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. It's like, no, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> 
And <laughs> that segues into this question. Dating. Is that a preference or discrimination? If someone says, hmm. I don't want to be with a single mother or I don't want to be with a single father. I don't know what you think, but I think it's preference. I wouldn't call it discrimination, mm. honestly. I think you just it's you just your prefer, choice. yeah. And you you'd rather stick your ground, rather yeah. Than just making decisions for now mm. and not keeping in mind your future. Yeah, mm. exactly. And I actually do appreciate. I told you guys in one yeah, of the episodes. Yeah. Actually, tell me now yeah, instead tell of me now. At the, now I'm so invested in the relationship. Then one year down the line, I, you know, I don't do single, single moms. She have told me this day one. <laughs> Because I didn't hide the fact that I was yeah. a single mom. I remember, I, I think I said in a previous episode where I'd gone out on several dates with this guy. And then on one of those dates, mm. um, he invited me to, to his house. He had a party over Easter. So he mm. told me to go. And I was like, no, no, no. I have something with my son. So I was like, oh, you have a child. <laughs> <laughs> Last scene headed. That guy never showed up again. But in my mind, I remember saying, I respect fine, that yeah. guy mm. for making it clear from the get-go. Otherwise, you don't want to invest so much in a relationship and then down the line, he's like, hey, by it's the way. Much. Or I've also seen cases uh, where I know someone who um, met this guy when mm. she had one child, mm. met this guy. Um, and I think after they had dated for quite a while, mm. the chick gets pregnant and now they have to move in together. And then the guy is like, by the way, you know, I am not your first child. Yeah. Figure it out. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And now they are married many years later. I even thought, like, I even thought you'd that? say something like, you know, um, you're dating someone, she gets pregnant, she tells you I want to move in. And then at that point you tell her, I'm not willing to date a single mother yeah, because we're not married. And I mean, clearly mm. that's who you are now. Yeah. That was a joke. Like, <laughs> God, my delivery must really suck. Oh my God. That, it does. that was we meant to be a joke. joke. We was, didn't get it. That was I'm meant to be a joke. <laughs> oh. Sweet. Single mother makers. <laughs> Like the guy tells you now that you're pregnant and I didn't give you a ring, you're now a single mother, so I'm gone. Uh, yeah, it's oh my god. They made the single mom. Ah. <laughs> thank God I don't Literally depend no on I, I thank God I don't depend room. on no, comedy to pay my rent. Read oh my god. Room. Oh my angry. god. No, but seriously, um, I think there's certain conversations you can call them a joke when you're especially in the dating. And not away from that, mm. right? I think that things a single mom would be keen on picking from conversations that you're having. Mm. So there are things you need to say and own to whatever you, you're saying because I will write with whatever you're telling me right now. Mm. So knowing, okay, so us moving from here means, imagine it's all play. This thing is not going anywhere. So mm. it means if two months down the line I get someone else, you're I'm just walking. Telling, it's <laughs> you're been. <done. laughs> Yeah, but as you know, we're serious. I mean, it's the same thing with the discrimination. I keep on telling people, at times I don't get it when someone, as in, you'd come and tell me, but I still look at you. I'm like, um, you aren't very intentional with it. You know, <laughs> as in the things we'd be picking, and if you don't see it, imagine to move a raka. Mm, yeah. like, it's not like at we are really so invested in getting someone to settle down with. No, as in, we just want you to be very, you know where I am right now in life. Mm. So you're either in or you're out. If you mm. give me, if I have the impression that you're not in it, then you don't have my time mm. or my space. Then let me also ask, why do you guys think discrimination against sing the children of single parents and their single parent exists? Like we've said in schools, in mm. churches. Mm. Okay, I've never gotten to understand. I would think these... Um... Because I've had, I've had, so there's misconceptions as well, but I've also had, and unfortunately, some of these conversations you hear even within spaces that are very close to you, your family, mm. your very close friends, yeah, you'll hear some, forget. they forget you're a single mom as well. Or they'll start and they tell you, but, yes, but not yeah, you, but not exactly, you, you're different, yes. you're different. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you'll be sitting somewhere and everyone is talking and they're talking, you know, they're advising others on how to make friends. Da, da, yeah. da, da, da. Mm. They're like, and you need to be very, very careful, especially, and especially when people are about to get married, mm. you know, and you, now you're a married couple, you're about to get married, so you need to avoid these single parents. <laughs> you're there. <laughs> and you're like, guys, so you could have waited and for I me to exit the room. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Could have waited for me to exit the room. Yeah. So, so I feel there's a feeling for, and and I think like I mentioned earlier, mm. there's always a feeling for you are the toxic one. You could not yeah. keep a man, 
So because you could not keep a man, mm. so you who are married, why do you want to be friends with this someone, this person who couldn't keep mm. a man? I don't know why it's never or I think or, it's also that they mm-hmm. they're scared you'll end up trying to take their man like when things get tough. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, cuz I don't know whether you've seen this in in apartments <laughs> where if you're friends with someone else's husband, you look like you're about to steal their husband. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. You're friends with someone else's husband? No, like in apartments. Uh, see, I'm saying hi to Chim. Why? Oh my gosh. Jirani, like I'm in a pita, and I'll just say hi. We are oh, you say hi. Imagine people look at it differently. Yeah. yeah. Why are you saying hi to... Is, Eggs, you see, this no, is it. No, okay, think about it. Think about this it. Is it. Me <laughs> with my children walking this around, I see, I see... <laughs> let's say you're married, yeah? Yes. That's in this case, yeah? Yeah. You did your husband and I'm greeting you. Why? 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 Oh my gosh. Okay, so wait, wait. Um <laughs> you'd want to just push up. Yeah. We know very well we know each other. Am I better friends you? with your That's husband? It. No, first of all, no. it doesn't even have to be friendship, friendship. It's let's just hide like, how, you, how are you? Bas, yeah. ni As in habari asubuhi. Well, people say that's how it starts, but I always say, if you say hi, <laughs> yeah. As in how do I just walk past you really? If if we meet, yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's enough. And you keep it pushing. As in to know nana you guys. No, you just salute, keep Okay, what's if, friendship? If, if, if you have if you have to talk to me, if you have to talk to me, Buddha. And That's keep it pushing. No, but Why are we talking? It, no, 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 no. It's just hi. <laughs> Even the hi. Hi to the kids. Yes. 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 That's it. Let me tell you. <laughs> I have an experience. There's a place I used to stay. The guy used to say hi to me. And mm. it's always hi, how are Period, you? Period, yeah. I'm fine. If you're up to But let me tell you the day he's with the mama. And the little direction. <laughs> I know. Oh my so goodness. So he did that I know. the first time. And the mama would say hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Let's talk Ishana, because mm. neighbors. He did that the first time, the second time. The third time, he said hi. By then, he didn't Peter <laughs> I was like, imagine. It's never that serious. I just, I, I want to believe uh, people have all the in, um, good intentions with Jiranis. That's where I start, until you start bringing other vibes. Yeah. Because, keep in mind, this guy, this, this guy, whether he's single or married, mm. if I meet him at the club, he'll have so much to tell me. Exactly. So, Guys, let's let's, let's not pretend. pretend. Let's you don't not know pretend. what happens. Exactly. Okay, for me personally, I just don't believe in talking to married women. Why? We are we, we Tell that, us that, why. that's something Chill. very tangential. We're it's something very, very talking. Very okay, so it's long. long. As in, I'm just saying you can't say hi. Okay, no, fine. but even talking. You know what? Why? I will have yes. I'll, I'll, I'll compromise. Hi. I'll compromise. I'll compromise. Hi. Hi. Like I said, hi. salute them, keep it pushing. Yo, Caro. As in, why are you to, what, what is that discussion? No, 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 no. Guys, what are you saying? tell me <laughs> why. Ever explain to me why. You, you, do you have friends no, who are married? Please, please explain yourself and tell us mm-hmm. what were you talking about. Because, okay, so let me give you an example. Let me give yes. you an example. So, um, so in my neighborhood, mm. I have someone who we work my colleague but by extension so mm. like we don't work in the same organization but you know like the way the same organization field. yeah ex- the same field mm. right so if we meet which is actually very rare for some reason it's very rare but when we meet hey how are you da, 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 all those things mm. so you would catch up uh, uh now that's not a jirani that's that's a, a jirani no, that's a neighbor and a colleague yes. okay you guys have a, a discuss like you have something mm. to talk about yeah. mm-hmm. but we're talking about someone you, I don't even know where you work, what you do. So you guys don't talk to your neighbors? No, we do. Actually, we'll tell you. Yeah. We'll tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Why stay? We actually yeah. have like end year party. Mm. I told you about you it. You told me that. And yeah. you get to know who is who in which house yes. number. Who are your children? And at times, your children are what I do. playing with each mm. other. Yeah. Of guys who are probably they work in the insurance, lawyers, business, and all mm. that. Mm. So if it gets to a point, I need someone to help with you know, project, a lawyer or whatever. I know I can yeah. go to, or I can ask my neighbor. By the way, do you remember who said da 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 da? Then we'll ask in the group, and then they will, as in just queen uh, one now, as they. But for sure, for sure, I think in the entire apartments where we're so many in that hood. I'd probably have three to four that I know these are my people. Yeah. But the rest is just a, a plus. So 
admit <laughs> we even go to the houses and have convert because we have something mm. to talk mm. about the rest by the way hata tunapishana hivi no here's the thing about. it's not like i'm also not I, i have very few friends but i've never thought about ati i can't talk to this guy because he's married me i want to like it has like example I've never, of a married man i've never thought about it that you want to have a conversation yeah, what are you then, be discussing until then we are sticking to akuna conversation yeah. so is that discrimination and that's not discrimination what is that think. no i, I would say just... it's born of the idea that mm-hmm. The single mother will try and get your husband. your man yeah yeah that man, yeah that one I've had mm, I've yeah, also had that in a, in a but but let me ask you guys <laughs> you see the one thing I have always asked if you are scared of me taking your man then it is your man who has a problem or your man also has a problem sasa una inject logic kwa maneno ya feelings Okay. Like, your man goes. also has a problem. Yeah. Because yeah. listen, yes, the if, guy has a problem. Yeah, You'll be telling that to the work. wife who wants to fight you while the man is standing behind just watching. <laughs> I'll, I'll turn it around. Mm-hmm. If you were married today, mm-hmm. and you had your man is sneaking out mm-hmm. with Sheila. Who has the problem? Both. Both you and my man. <laughs> Both of you have a problem. See? Because let so me tell you. Say, no, 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 no. You see the way you're mm-hmm. saying? Then your man has a problem. The wife feels both of you have a It's problem. okay, but you see there's a sneaking beat and then there's tumekutana kwa parking. Hey, have you been? Hapana, but see, Those are two different women, whatever. We know how in Anzaga na hai. Hapo kwa parking. Yes, hapo kwa parking. But this guy is going to but work. We're not going to spend so much time. <laughs> maze, maze. <laughs> and then at the at the at the Baba Kadari. Hey, how are you doing? You've come from work. Yes. Tell me how work. What am I telling? Listen, text my wife all the questions you have. She'll vet them. I'll get back to you in five business days. No. Uh, no, there's, no, obviously there's a boundary. But I'm like, gosh. No. Okay, fine. Imagine. Let's move on. Haya nimekubali. Nimekubali. But guys, like I was saying in the comments, let us know what your thoughts are about yeah. that. Yeah, please. Yeah? Um, so how would you deal with any discrimination that you met with regards to being a single parent Sheila I think my my motto is I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me just be honest there's something about uh church that you're talking about and I I love let me use love because he was there for me when everything was just going down I love my the reverend in my church mm because and i think this is something i even told you when mm. when um i was with my my twins dad we decided to start off the classes and you know they always have rules and regulations mm. as to why you need to start having marital classes and all that and i went and explained to him and he said it's fine you can start off then when we're just about to when we are shamra shamra we are almost finishing up is when i got pregnant most mm. churches would actually say by the it's you, you're the now, yeah. you know mm. he walked with me and i remember that time when he i'd go to church and be like uh, after i gave back to the twins they mm. baptized the kids so i have a certificate for them and then he stopped seeing the baby daddy and he kept on asking where is he has he communicated i tried calling him you know as in they're even trying to reach out to understand i love that church and mm. at times i think of going back to my church but i know going back to my church and anyone who understands the sda setup i am going to be judged no 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 so i was talking about my pastor right mm. yeah. yeah 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 and uh, he asked me so are you dating anyone i was like no like you're not seeing anyone may want you to start seeing someone you know you can be single um for the longest time which it's very true because i think when you're single you've you have an open space of doing so much mm. and both good and evil mm. and i get where he's coming from but i remember going now to my personal uh, pastor and explaining mm. it to now the wife and she's like you know what when it's time you will yeah. know it's time <coughs> exactly so yeah. i think even the churches where i feel they've uh, probably let us down as single parents there's always a couple thing Oh yeah. Mm. There's women. That's a very good couples, point. But I really love for them to have a session for single, single parents. Yeah, because yeah, mm. I told you this year I was reading the Bible from start to mm. right? And I was, to, I was looking at the at the at the story of Sid doesn't believe Abraham. you. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she 
she read the Bible. No, I'm not. I'm, no, no, I'm still. I'm still doing it. And see that I'll, I'll prove you wrong. So I was talking about the story of Abraham and Hagar, mm. right? So they got a baby Ishmael, and then Sarah got a baby later. And I'm looking yeah, at Hagar yeah. as a single mom. Still, God sent an angel to talk to her. Yeah. As I said to go back, and God actually blessed Ishmael. Right, that's mm. so many things which I still need to understand is like God. Yeah. But I'm just thinking it's not we're not the first single parents. Exactly. They were there. And God also should um as in give them bless them. Mm. So I think as much as we're being discriminated outside here, imagine let's keep the faith. Ah uh, yeah. 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 Okay, and that's why I say how I react to it. Mm. Imagine me whatever men song and yeah. <laughs> But it's a good. I think it's a good attitude because now what do I what do? What do I do? As in, what do I do? I I can't can't so now, to, to yeah, exactly. Yeah. I will admit to having a negative, uh, like perspective towards single mothers. Mm. Uh, mine is usually, I guess, also a testament to the <laughs> caliber of people I've been around. Mm. Uh, if you're constantly in sewage, you'll assume everyone is a swine. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and that that's not about the single mother it's about the personality um i've been around the type of single mothers who actively use the chil- they weaponize the children mm-hmm. i've been around the single mother who was very charitable with her lady parts in her youth so you sort of create this perception <laughs> yeah and trying to unlearn that is something i've actually purposed to do i said last year um, trying to see beyond the stereotype, mm. trying to see the person. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but I won't lie to you. It's 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 not easy. But it's also, I think easy. you've also raised a very uh, good point because I also feel like sometimes uh, single moms overuse and misuse the fact that they're single moms. Mm. So now you'll do you walk around doing um, like you're saying, being very generous with whatever, mm. and your excuse is, but I'm a single mom and I need to raise. Don't. Yeah, um, because I've also seen, um, because, okay, I I hope I don't sound like an asshole when I say this, but (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, but I've also, you see the the guys who are begging in the streets, Mm. a lot of them will have kids and Mm. it's because they know that you, the moment you see kids, you're already feeling like, oh, well, she she has kids to raise. Maybe she doesn't have. You do? (laughs) <laughs> Yo, me, I am brutal. I know, I've honestly... The way they come at you, they hold your hand. Mm. And, yeah, but Ako, and you keep it pushing. Aye. So, Aye. so I know, I know there are women who have mis- misused the fact that they're single moms. But the one thing I've also been learning to do is being an individual. I am a mom. I'm not a single mom. Mm. I am a mom. Whether I'm single or not, I think that's besides, besides let it not be what defines me. Mm. So let it not be that I'm going to do useless things out here, claiming that forgive me because I'm a single mom. No? No? <laughs> Tara, but, have you ever used uh, being a single mom in your favor? Have I? I don't think so. Uh, you sure? Uh, I don't know. I Maybe I need to sit and think. Uh, when you're I negotiating with a mechanic, <laughs> 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 Mini single mom thing yeah. what I'm no, I'll say I'm a mom. I won't say I'm a single mom. I will say I'm a mom. No, I will say I'm a mom. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a very hot point. I've never said I'm a mom. Let me tell you, funny thing, because I've also had conversations, even in the cab, where someone is like, oh, you don't have to go to the cab. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm a mom. Oh, now, cabs, yes, you, Kubali. Yeah, 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 let him know that I have a man waiting for me. You know, oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. But, okay, now, Sheila, I'll ask you a different <laughs> question. What would you tell... Uh, I, I was going to say a struggle, mom. Um, you know, the mothers who are still not established, like they're still in their ghetto phase mm-hmm. of life. Eh? They're still on the come up. Uh. What would you tell such a mom when she encounters? Because the truth is, the two of you have the money to sort of insulate yourself from that. I don't have to go to this school because the person, someone else isn't paying for me, so I don't have to put up with this. Mm-hmm. If the school treats me one way, I'm... I mean, I'm paying for myself. I'm flexible. I'll move. Same with church. What would you tell someone who maybe she's in uni, she's pregnant, she's gone back home. The mom and dad have said, you're going to this school. Mm. Knowing full well 
<laughs> what she's she's dealing with um i think the um, for every mother the first time a single mom like you had no existing partner when you get pregnant at times and let's just be very honest about it the first question that comes to mind is do i really want to keep the baby or not mm. so i think it's just for you to keep that baby and for that baby to come to this world aki hiyo ni baraka because it's it's good as in i remember that time when i knew i was pregnant with my first baby and it crossed my mind but i was like imagine let's get them here but even you getting the child here mm. and i remember when i gave birth and then with time i realized i have just opened a new sheet of judgment so it's how did you get a baby i hadn't even mm. been to school mm. so there's so many questions that you know, you need to be prepared i always say it's it's just the mindset mm. you can choose to have the mindset of imagine i don't care and i keep on telling mm. carol as single parents we need to move with that mindset of by the me i can control what you're thinking may have one exactly. child i have this mm. child and i need to raise that child whatever mm. you're going to do if you have that child in mind okay, i'm sure as in kusema tu kweli mungu aachane watu wake right True. so i think with me i got nathan and yes it crossed my mind but when nathan got here i was like you know what this is mine and my 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 responsibility so if today i have not come and knocked your door and asked you for a bag of unga imagine not mm. as in stop listening to what people are saying as in people are going to judge you whatever you're doing whether it's good or bad <coughs> people will always have something to say hey just chapa kazi raise your child and i think that's what we did to get to where we are so people are definitely yeah. going to judge but just for you to bring that child to this to this world i imagine that's an accomplishment yeah Yes, and I also don't judge to be honest I don't judge those who decided from the word go I don't want to have this child mm. that's a decision you also made and you stick with it cause a couple of years down the line you will remember that baby mm. true that you yeah. you decided as in I don't want let me tell you when you have all the money you just realize si ningefika hapa but you know times you also ask yourself ningefika hapa ningekuwa nayo mtoto but i'm just saying whatever decisions you make imagine just stick to them shauri yako by the end of the day mimi nitaka na mungu wangu ni judge you have your own time with your god to judge you but whatever now you do it's it's not easy being a single parent even carol and i keep on saying it's not easy as even us getting here we still are judged in different uh, set, uh, settings but we always say imagine stop caring much about other people and i think now that we are almost getting to the fourth floor and like <laughs> by, the by the way it is what it is <laughs> yeah yeah so so yo with that eh to make a wish of a very informative session i'd like to ask guys to please subscribe leave a like it's something very small for you all but it, it's monumental for the channel mm. and ultimately leave a comment let us know what you think are you feeling it What are the topics you want us to be discussing, you know? Yeah. Hey. All right. Bye-bye. Hi.